Alright, so in this problem, I have x squared minus x to the power of 3 is equal to 12. So, to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by subtracting 12 on both sides. <clears throat> so then these two cancel out, and I get x squared minus x to the power of 3 minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, negative 12, I can rewrite that as... negative 4 minus 8. And the reason I did this was because 4 I can rewrite as 2 squared and 8 I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And notice how this is in the form something squared minus something to the power of 3. So I have 2 squared minus 2 to the power of 3. And now I'm going to group x squared and 2 squared. So I have x squared minus 2 squared. And then I group x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. So I have negative x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to put these two in, both in parentheses. So I have x squared minus 2 squared minus x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 because this negative sign distributes. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x and b is 2. So I get x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now I have this minus, well if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, I get a is equal to x and b is equal to 2, so I get x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. And this is equal to 0. Now from here, I can factor out x plus 2 because both of these terms have x plus 2. So I get x plus 2 times x minus 2 minus x squared minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. And from here, let me simplify this a little. I get x minus 2 minus x squared plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. And if I add all the like terms, I get negative x squared plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I get x plus 2 is equal to 0. And I also get <clears throat> negative x squared plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. So to start, for x plus 2 equals 0, this is fairly simple. All I have to do is subtract 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 2. Now, for negative x squared plus 3x minus 6, I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by negative 1. And now I get x squared minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, from here, I can use the quadratic formula to factor this, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 3, and c is 6. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 6, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 
9 minus 30, or sorry, 9 minus 24 over 2, which is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 15 over 2. And the square root of negative 15 is the same thing as the square root of 15 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the magic number i. So I get x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 15i over 2. So these are two more solutions. And my three solutions are x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to 3 plus the square root of 15 i over 2, and x is equal to 3 minus the square root of 15 i over 2. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution. What I'm first gonna do is rewrite x to the power of 21 as x to the power of seven times three. And rewrite x to the power of 14 as x to the power of seven times two. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 7 times 3 is going to equal x to the power of 7 to the power of 3. And I have this plus x to the power of 7 to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now from here, I can let x to the power of 7 equal to the variable y. So now if I substitute in y for x to the power of 7, I get y to the power of 3 plus y squared is equal to 36. And if I subtract 36 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite the 36 as negative 27 minus 9. And the reason I did this is because 27 I can rewrite as 3 to the power of 3 and 9 I can rewrite as 3 squared. And notice how I have some a number to the power of 3 and that same number squared and again 3 to the power of 3 and 3 squared. So now I'm going to s switch the order and group the powers of 3's together and the powers of 2's together. Now from here, I can use two important properties. The first property is that if I have something from a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is going to equal a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And now the second property is a squared minus b squared this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, we can rewrite as y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 3 squared. And then now I have this plus y minus 3 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. Now from here, I have a common factor of y minus 3 on both terms. So if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 3y plus 9 plus y plus 3. And this is equal to 0. And this turns into y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. All I did was add up all the like terms. Now, this gives me two equations. I get y minus 3 
is equal to zero. And I also get y squared plus four y plus 12 is equal to zero. So for my first equation, y minus three equals zero, all I have to do is add three on both sides and I get y equals three. So this is my first solution of y. Now for y squared plus four y plus 12 is equal to zero. What I can do to solve this because it's a quadratic equation is use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So in this case, a is one, b is four, and c is 12. So I get y is equal to negative four plus or minus the square root of four squared, which is 16, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is 12. And I have all of this over 2a. Now this turns into y is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48 over 2. And this is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 32 over 2. And the square root of negative 32, I can rewrite that as the square root of 32 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of negative 1 is equal to i, the imaginary number i. So now I get negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 32 i over 2. Now the square root of 32 is the same thing as the square root of 4 times 8, which is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 8 which is equal to two root eight. So now I get y is equal to negative four plus or minus two root eight i over two, which is equal to negative two plus or minus square root of i. So these are another two solutions of y. However, we're not done yet because remember how we let Back here, we let x to the power of 7 equal to y. So if x to the power of 7 is equal to y, then I get x to the power of 7 is equal to 3. And I also get x to the power of 7 is equal to this. However, you can't take the power of a number and make it equal to an imaginary number. So we cannot use these two values of y. And the only value of y that we can use is three because this is a whole number, not an imagined number solution. So if x to the power of seven is equal to three, to solve this, I'm gonna take the seventh root on both sides. So I get the seventh root of x to the power of seven is equal to the seventh root of three. The seventh root of x to the power of seven is x. So I get x is equal to the seventh root of three. Now to check, My equation was x to the power of 21 plus x to the power of 14 is equal to 36. And the seventh root of three is the same thing as three to the power of one over seven. Now 27 times one over seven is three. So I get three to the power of three plus one over seven times 14 is two. Three to the power of three is 27 and three to the power of two is nine. So I get 36 is equal to 36.